I'm ready. All right. Let's see if the scripting works. <laughs> no, we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Let's draw a card. What happened? Why did it break? I don't know. We might have to redo this, but that's fine. We'll worry about it next week. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Skelly's 64. Archer's 29. Uh, Craig is going to go first, and then Rill, and then Archers, and then Skellies, and then me. I go last. Well, Lost Jokes Pet goes last, but... The rats. So I'm going first. Yes, you are. Alright, my pet. My mystic ally. Uh, attacks at range 2 for 3. Yep. And can also move 2. You want. But it's not going to move because it's within range 2 of an enemy. Okay. So go ahead and have it attack blue bones for 3. Okay. You draw your own uh, card for that. So it's 3 uh, minus 1 because it has a shield. Uh, is 2. Is anyone going to be out of luck if that living bones dies? A little bit. Uh, um, so, my plan was to, uh, if you look at my cards, uh, this is what I'm going to do, or at least what my plan was going to be. Um, it's going to end up with me next to an enemy. So basically, I was going to move four, I was going to exhaust my um, boots to actually move six, and then use this to attack four, six on an enemy, but that does mean that I will... I will end up next to an enemy for my next turn, and I am going to have to long rest for my next turn because I cannot, I cannot well, go again. So you do want that living bones to die because you want to attack somebody who's not hurt. Probably, but that also means that I might end up in the middle of the door. It depends on how I go. You're, you're a tank. Um, if you... I guess I can move five, go over here and disarm this trap. Why though? That might be what my turn is. Yeah, you might want to trap disarmed. Just no, just to go ahead and kill the this guy. Get the most experience I can no, we need, out of. We need gonna, you to continue. Yeah, we need you to continue to be a team player here, Roll. So, if Craig kills this guy, you can maybe fight one of these guys. I can get in there. I can get in there, potentially, maybe. I can move one into the doorway and get two hit, get hit by both of these other guys, and possibly die and only get one experience. Yeah, but it would still be helpful to actually do damage. Where can you said you can get in there? Where can you go? He can jump. Yeah, but uh, where, where were you? Actually, end up I can't. Jump? I can't jump on this turn. So never mind. No, I can only pretty much go up to the door. It depends on what the skeletons are going to do. What are the skeletons going to do? The skeletons are going to move. Um, and that's going to happen. Me? They're after you. They're before me, though. Are they before Rel? No. Well, I think we'll be fine. But uh, I'm gonna we'll, we'll try see. to kill that skull. We'll see. Just go ahead and go. Alright, well... I tried to go slow with my selections, but it didn't work. Yeah. So I have to heal somebody now. Um, so I mean... Heal Mert. Yeah. Alright, how much is it? Four? Four. And I create light. At least this still works. Then I'm going to consume wind, because this means I can consume anything. Yes. And you also get a plus one attack from your uh, thingy. Plus two attacks, in fact. Plus two. So that's plus two, plus one. Uh, so that's attack five at range three. Yeah. Well, maybe I... What do you guys think? Should I attack the living bones number two which I can sort of see through the door you can do keep or, in mind he has one shield yeah or should I attack I mean, if you can attack the back line you probably should yeah if you're going to do that much damage okay I'll attack living bones number two then. okay so five multiplier of so I'm getting experience And then I am moving this up and also getting experience from that. No, not yet. You actually get experience the next time it oh, happens. It's after it leaves yes. that space? Yes. Okay. All right. So it's plus five, and I'll draw my power. 
Six minus one is five. You totally just completely obliterate this living bones. It's actually really good. I'm actually glad that you did that because real, if you kill this guy, I can. That's actually easier for me to not be in the way. Okay. And that's not even a lose card. I just discard it. Yep. That's me. Uh, so that was twenty-one. Real, you're twenty-three. You're next. All right. Uh, I will attack three this guy. Okay. With poison one. Okay. You you kill this guy. Five. <laughs> you didn't even need to poison. Dead. He dead. Yeah. And then. There's that. And uh. Oh yeah, there's we need another one. Uh, put it up there. Actually, can I say that was the attack three without poison? If you want. It's the same attack. Because... Yeah. Oh wait, no. But then you can't Basically move. I can't I can't move either way. Yeah. Oh wait, I guess I can Yeah, you I can, can use Phantom Shiv and then move with the generic one. Yeah, I guess so. Uh... Yeah, the only thing you would do is miss out on the experience, but I give myself experience just now. I no, you didn't. It and then it didn't do anything. There you go. All right, so I did use the poison one, and then I'm gonna generic move, I guess. Too. Okay. I mean, should I move to this coin here, or should I? I wouldn't. It's, it's up what to should you, I do, but Merg? it's so um, you could move to the door. I am likely going to be moving past the door. I, I could potentially be dying this round, but we'll see. I could also potentially be dying this round. I have less HP well, than you. I think you should move into the door and then Merc. All right, past I'll be you. in the yeah, doorway. That's what's going to happen. That way you'll take some Actually, uh, wait, 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 wait. Before you decide this, before you decide this. I think the, oh, the archers are going to move first. The archers are going to move before me. That means if you move into the door, they're definitely going to attack you. You might actually want to move away. They're going to attack her anyway. She yeah, but away. if she moves away, they're not going to attack anybody. They're going to move. I f what? 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 You want her to get killed? For her to soak up some damage or for her to just move away? She still has rest. cards. She still has potentially another whole round of, of stuff that she can do. I have one more round and then I need That's to rest. I'm asking the question. How many cards do you have after you rest? After I rest? Yeah, I, mean, I have one get... more round after I rest. She does a lot of damage, though, and we can definitely use that damage. It would probably be better if she doesn't die. Alright, I'll back it up to over. Well, assuming she could get close enough to do the damage. Are you going to be able to get close I, enough I to wouldn't, I attack? wouldn't go that way. I would actually go past uh, Craig so that they can't actually attack you. Yeah, they would be able to still see you over there. Yeah. Alright. Just hug the wall if you really want to. Yeah, to I would. I would hug the oh, wall. Oh yeah, I guess I could have. Because they can line of sight you through the door. Moved here. All right, the archers are going to activate. Uh, they are moving. Uh, they get their immobilized card again. Um, they're going to be moving. Two. They're going to be attacking one. You plus immobilize. What? You've created a target out of me now. Yes. That's not a good thing. You guys told me to move here and hug the I, wall. I did not. I told you to do the opposite. It's fine. No, you told me to hug the wall. I told you to hug the wall if you were going to do that. They probably can't even see you anyway. Uh, they yeah, can they move two. One, two. Oh, this is unfortunate because this coin is going to go away. But whatever. He is going to move here. Uh, I don't think that the archer can actually get you from here. Uh, and then one, and he can't move anymore, and he can't get anybody, um, because I think they do, uh, are targeting Craig. Uh, this one can move, and this one can move, and that's the archer's turn. They don't get to attack, which is wonderful. Uh, then it is, uh, Ma, no, Skeleton's turn. Uh, Skeletons are going to move minus one, attack plus one. The Skeletons are going to move two. And attack four. You mean skeleton? Two. Still all alone now. Is he really? Is he the last one? One, two. 
And he's going to attack you for two, Craig. And he's going to attack you for one. Unacceptable. Uh, and then it's my turn, finally. Uh, who do I want to kill? Assuming I don't roll terribly, I can kill any one person. But that is, of course, assuming that I don't roll terribly. So next round, I can move exactly five. I think you should kill the living bones. Okay. I am going to tap my boots to give me two extra movements. I am going to move four. I am going to uh, do something crazy. I am going to move. Uh, this is actually six movement. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Why are you not go on the door and pick up the coin? I mean, I could. I think you should. All right, fine. I'll move for the door and pick up the coin. That means I'm going to get shot in the back 50 times by the archers. That's your job. It's not really, though. It's literally your job to be shot in the back. And then I'm going to roll six against this living bones. Oops, that's the wrong one. Better you than us. Five. Unfortunately, I don't kill him because he has one shield. So, uh, he because he only takes four damage from that. Um, and that's Can't it. Can't you add a damage somehow, Mert? Uh, I can't. My no. rats can still attack, you know. Yeah, because Lost Jokes uh, rats still get a turn, uh, which is uh, right now. I think that's the only thing that can happen. But your rats are going to have to do two damage, which they definitely do. The, the skeleton's dead. <laughs> skeleton's dead. And there's a coin. Here. The and rats the strategically the swarm all over it and chew up its tendons. So it's just a bunch of disconnected bones. I have to rest. Maybe that's why I didn't want to go into the door. That's fine. I can move through you, though. Is it okay if I rest right here, Craig? Yes. Okay. I have to rest. Alright, I don't need to recover help. We don't care if you die. We just care <laughs> if we finish the mission. It would also be nice to get this chest over here, by the way. I think if someone wants to do a crazy kamikaze run for um for loot, you should go for the chest and not the uh, coins. Does somebody have to stand on the chest to yes. actually get the chest? To this? Uh, well, yeah, it's it's like regular loot. They can either stand on it and end their turn there, or they can use a loot action uh, within range. I can't move enough to get there, so meh. What if you loot the chest and then you fail the scenario? You don't get it, right? Uh, no, you get the chest. Oh. You get all, you, you keep all loot. If if so, we should have been the other time just rushing to that chest, <laughs> maybe and getting the chest it even each mean, time. Does it, so does it mean just seven loot or no? It means it's number seven on the loot table. Uh, I believe this chest is a one-time only thing. Anyway, we get this chest, and even so. if we replay this mission, the chest is not going to be there. It's just because we've already gotten it. Okay. I'm going fast. Okay, I'm not going at all. Are we are we putting our things yeah. down now? Yeah. All right. I'm sorry I'm that we have to. Uh, yes. I'm sorry that we have to keep track of our initiative manually for the next for for the rest of this game, but I'll I'll fix it for uh for next week. I'm not sure why it it died, but the, the it died because the game is like not believing that we can actually potentially win this. The game is like, oh my god, are they actually gonna do it? Can the rats pick up coins for me? That's a good question. Uh, I would have to look it up. Let me, um... It would have to be on accident, because you can't control where they move. Yeah, you can't control where they move. Uh... No, but they can only move one space, so the only space 
their options of moving are two spaces next to them, and one of them's the core. Yeah. But you get no say in whether they choose the coin or not. Let me try to find out where the back is. Oh my god, just let me look at the fact. Why are you opening like five different things? Just let me look at it. Alright. Of course it's not gonna let me search for it. There is a thing about about pets in here though. I need to find it. I remember seeing it. You guys can continue like playing the game <laughs> while I look at this. Well, this is kind of uh, do summons perform. Can we really? Do summons perform end of turn looting? No, only characters perform end of turn looting. So no, they don't. They don't pick up points. But does the coin go away? I don't think that they do. No, coins only go away when enemies, when like full enemies or people, um, end their turn on it. So yes, your rats could move up there, assuming there's nobody else there to move to block their way. And I in fact, ready. your rats will move that way if, if there's nobody there because that's <laughs> because you can't control them. All right, are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's draw and draw. Let's see, twenty and skeleton is dead. Oh, there yeah, is you're no right. skeleton. You're right, skeletons. There is dead. no skeleton, man. Skeletons are completely. They were always dead. Dead. <laughs> they were always dead. Okay, the archers have sixteen. Uh, Rill definitely goes first, and then Lost Joke, and then the archers, and then um, Greg. So Rill, your turn. All right, move five. Select me. One, two, three, four. Hopping here. Okay. Uh. And then I'm going to attack three plus two because I'm next to you. Yep. Or and because the guy I'm attacking is next to you. Yep. That's a so five, five to uh, this archer. Yep, he's dead. All right, uh, now... Did I get a thing? Yeah, I did get a thing. Yeah, one XP. Uh, Lost Joke. Your turn. I'm gonna scurry. Oh, yeah, wait, your your pets. Your pets are gonna move. Where? Uh, your pet is the red one, right? Where will it move? Uh, it will move here because it's trying to get close. Uh, but unfortunately, it does not have the range, so that's where it's gonna stop and not do anything else. Now it is your turn. Now I... All right. Attack for one. Are you ending your turn Oops. on that coin? As far as I can go, and I do no damage. All right. Here's your coin. But you still but have, uh, yeah. I'm going to range stun another one. A different one. Yeah, I'm gonna stun this one. Okay, you can do that. No disadvantage on this, because he's not uh, next to you. I do no damage. <laughs> but you do stun him. You do still stun him. And you do still get the XP, and you do still create the ice. And get your XP, too. All right. That is your turn. It is the archer's turn. They are going to move plus one, attack minus one. Uh, move three, attack one is what they're going to be doing. Um, this guy is actually going to move away. One, two. And he is going to be attacking, um, I believe, Rill, because she went first. 
Okay. Uh, and they're both equidistant away. So he is going to attack you for one. One. And then uh, this one is going to probably not bother moving and is also, I think, going to attack Rill for one. Oof, three. I'm going to use my armor. Okay. Two. Two. And then finally, this guy is also um, <coughs> not going to move, uh, but he's also not going to do anything because he's stunned. So now it is Craig's turn. Okay. I'm going to jump eight. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Uh, press the button. At least that's the works. Uh, you can look at this right now if you want, but I'll look uh, at it at the end of my turn. That's fine. So I jumped eight, and I'm going to target to make wind as well. They're the only ones within range. Range three. I can reach three. two of the archers. Two, three. Yep. So I get two experience. And you're doing uh, three attacks, so right to left, so archer four. My attack is three. Oh, yeah, it's three plus two. Four, five. So this is and on the I'm, next. And I'm using my attacks. minor power potion, so it's six. Holy shit, okay. Draw your card. Yeah. So here's the right one. Uh, that guy's dead. dead. <laughs> that guy's totally, totally dead. He dead too. Wow. Where was get, that uh, first one standing? Get that XP too. Here. here? Right here and here. All right. You get the XP from your uh, buff as well, because you have to move your, uh, your I'll move it for you. Get the XP. Yeah. I told you we had this this turn this time. Yep. Uh, I am going to long rest, which means I get. I thought. You, wait, I thought you did long rest. Yeah. You guys should collect. I'm, loot. This is my turn now. I can't collect your loot. I'm gonna lay down. Well, if you can, you should collect loot because we have this. I will attempt to, but uh, let me see what I want to get rid of. I probably should keep my loot. Let's be overconfident and focus on collecting loot, and then <laughs> we'll fail. Um, I don't believe that this guy is going to be stunned next turn, by the way. I think he's he's done being stunned. Uh, what am I going to lose? Well, it's at the end of his next turn, isn't it? It's, uh, if you are, if you have the effect at the beginning of your turn... Then you lose it at the end of that turn. If you if you get the effect during the turn, then um, you know what you might be right. It might be round instead of turn. So you know what you might be right. You might still be stunned next turn. I don't I don't remember. I I don't think that he's supposed to be stunned though. Let's look. Let's look at the conditions. Let's look. At, let's 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 make sure because we don't want to win by cheating. We're so close. We don't want to like take that away. Let's um go to the. Uh, conditions, 22-23. Uh, tech effects, no. Conditions. When a condition is applied to a figure, the respective token is placed on the stat sleeve, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the condition reigns on the figure until the requirements for removing the specific condition are met. Uh, so for... Stun. The figure is stunned. Uh, at the end of its next turn, the stun or token is removed. Players must still play two cards. I think it's... I think... That was its next turn. So I think it is by turn and not round. So this guy is not stunned. Okay. Uh, also, take your take your cards away. Um, we'll end the round. I still need to pick my... Uh, I lost that one, and I lost this one. I still need to pick what card I want to lose. 
probably going to be. So where am I? This one. What am I doing with this treasure? Uh, it's yours, sort of. It's the it's it could be yours. It could be the party. Uh, take a look at it. Well, let's let's go ahead and look at it. Uh, go into two. Press uh, two or sorry, you have to state two. Right click. This is what we get. <laughs> It'll load. It's blank. We get uh, nothing. We get nothing. It's we empty. get it's nothing. A <laughs> it's a mimic. No, we get something. Hold on. I think if there is a uh, there's a treasure there's a treasure log in here. It's fucking treasure broken. Index. Um, that's not it. I'm gonna have to look up what the treasure index for this is. It is. I think it is broken. Let me um. Gloomhaven treasure index. Oh, it's in the scenario book. I think it's on like the last page of the scenario book. Maybe. Uh, there it is. I wish there was a way to refresh something. Random side scenario. So, uh, come over here to the right yeah. side of the table. Here it is. Yeah. Uh, no, where is it? Where are the random side scenarios? This isn't it. Is it? Maybe that maybe this is it? Random dungeon? I don't see any other random side scenario and that does match the I mean the icon, the icon is the same as the one that's random dungeon. Alright, so uh we'll randomize this and pick the card. Okay. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to grab that for you. So number sixty seven. This basically just unlocks this for us to do. Yes. I think so, yeah. Let's and uh the one to two mean. That's the coordinates. Let's let's deal with this after we're done with this. Cause we have that now. We we have that even if we fail for some reason. We have that now. So let's yeah, let's I think that basically just means that's now an option for us to go do. Yes, I believe. That, that is entirely correct. All right, I got rid of my... No, I didn't get rid of my attack yet. Uh, I keep on meaning to, and then I keep on not doing it. Um, We'll just get rid of this. So... I'm going to have to do a... Oh, I got a XP. forgot to give myself XP for that. All right. I'm going to have to do a long rest, because I've only got one card in my hand. Okay. How many cards are in your discard pile? One. So basically you're out now. Not immediately. I mean your your creature still moves. You I can discard you... one of my thingies. Oh yeah, okay, there's those two. Yeah. You're gonna have to. Actually you can't discard these. Both of these are lost. So yeah, Lost Oak, you might be out. Me? No, sorry, Craig. Just sorry. Apologies. Uh, well, considering I was totally fresh like two turns ago, I can really burn through my cards apparently. Yeah, yep. but I mean, you burning through your cards definitely helped like a lot. So yeah. Well, we do still uh, have to kill this last guy. So anyway. it's it seems like it's gonna be me and uh, Lost Oak possibly doing it. Uh, I don't know if Rolo was able to. My little dude I need to sleep. I am sleeping. Way. Are you <laughs> sleeping? All right, so it's going to be lost asleep. in me. Do keep I in mind... I just over here, opened the chest, <laughs> and then I laid down in it and shut the lid. Uh, as soon as we kill this guy, the scenario is over. Any loot left on the ground, we do not get. Just remind you. Well, we should really finish. I... I... Yeah... We really don't want to. I have look at how many yeah. cards I have though. I have plenty of cards. Look at my health. I have plenty of health. I can definitely do this. You do, but no one else does. Me and Craig are out. It's one guy. Pretty soon. But it's one guy and I still have Lost Joke. Look how many cards Lost Joke has. Not very many. Uh what one. how many how many in your mm. I can do it. It's two. He has two in his discard and one. Oh, so he has to sleep now too. Oh wait, no, he's playing. He's yeah, he's already played. Now. He's already played. Uh Sorry, it's, it's your everybody's waiting on me. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to how I want to do this. Um,
I need. Yeah, I just spent the last two rounds losing both cards. So I lost four cards in two rounds. I already have nothing left. Oh yeah, I have that. I can um I can easily do that. Alright, I'm going to uh play this kill. And this. Also move out of the way of my pet. I'm going pretty fast, but again not that fast. But are we ready? Because you both are, are resting? Yeah. Uh, the archers gets a new card at 56. I am 15. Lost joke is 27. Wow, I go first. I am going to exhaust my boots again for an extra two movement. I'm going to use my shield bash card for its generic movement. I get four. That's um, one, two. I can even... Yeah, that's fine. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to use loot one and get all of these coins. This one too. If we fail this and it's Merg's fault, I'm going to be angry. Nah, we're fine. Merg's most infamous like, greedy act. That's my turn. Uh, Lost Joke, you are up next. Uh, your pet is actually up next. Your pet is going to move one right here. Yeah, it's a good thing you went first because you would have been in the way. And since it's hungry, it's going to swarm onto the scoundrel. <laughs> the rats are hungry. No. Okay. I'm going to Gonna fear some blade. Gonna move for an attack for two. Okay. I'll give this to Lost Joke. I you do three. three. I got your coin for you, Lost Joke. Here you go. Okay. And I gain two experience. Now I'm going to generic attack. Feedback. Okay, so that's another two. This guy's dead. And we're done. Uh, we're actually technically done at the end of the round. Oops, I didn't mean to lock him. So uh, if anyone still has stuff to do, but I mean, it's all just resting, so I don't that's think we do. Yeah. But uh, I'm definitely going to rest and heal up. I mean, we're, we're done. That's it. We, we're, we're, we're complete. Yeah, because I rested and healed. I needed uh, to heal first. Where's the, um, where's the good stuff? And experience. I'm gonna add that to me. We win! This isn't happy music. So the coins are worth two right now. Yeah. So I get six. They're there we worth go. Two because we succeeded. Yes. So no, we get. They, um, they've been worth two the whole time. Yes. Uh, let's 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 do this. Let's um. See what stuff is worth. I need to um. The coins are only worth two, correct? Yes, but we get more stuff. Don't don't start counting everything just yet. I we already added to... my experience. That's fine, but we're gonna do more. It's thirty-three. Oops. More, more, more. Where is the... Sorry, I need to find the... There's like a chart that says like how much... how much stuff you get for scenarios. <coughs> and I cannot goddamn find it. Here we go. So we're on normal. It's uh, plus zero. So we get. So what level are we? We're level one. We get an extra six XP. We get uh, two gold. We get uh, 
No, that's it. And then monster level. No, so we get we just basically get an extra six X XP, and everything is worth two gold. So I guess we don't get an extra gold, but that's fine. I'm level two. Six times two is twelve. And we didn't get extra gold, right? Everything is just worth two. That's what you just yes, said. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. And then I get how much XP? Five. I am and not then plus level six. two. I have five away. Yeah, I'm like not really close at all. But I did, I did get my battle goal. Oh my, yeah, I also got my battle goal. My battle goal of uh, kill a monster afflicted by neg negative condition, which I did do, which means I get a check. So, uh, real on your character sheet under where it says notes, put uh, however many check marks you got. I don't know how many if you got one or two, but only got one. Just put one check. So basically, every time if we get uh, three checks, uh, we get to add a perk above there. What were those okay. skeletons called, technically? Skeletons. Just to add them to a list. A living bones. Living bones. I've killed a bandit guard, living bones, and bandit archer. And, and we actually finished. Fast healer. Your current hit point value must be equal to your maximum hit point value at the end of the scenario, which it was. Then you got that battle goal. Yeah. Which means you got one uh, one check. Lost Joke, did you get your battle goal? I got it in the first room. Yeah, I did too. Nice. So My you get goal your. Was loot one thing. You get your check. Nice. My I already got a goal check. Was don't attack until I've been attacked first. Uh, let's deal with this, number 67, real quick. Oh, wait, no, let's, let, before we do that, let's read the ending to this mission. Conclusion. With the last bandit dead, you take a moment to catch your breath and steel yourself against the visions of living remains ripping at your flesh. Your target is not among the dead, and you shudder to think what horrors still await you in the catacombs below. We open! New location, Barrel Lair 2. Let's um let's go open that. I'll bring the I'll bring this other card too. So over here on the map. It's right next door. Number two. Barrow Lair. Also I can uh make a little checkbox on this. There you go. Got it. We did Black Barrow, so next is Barrow Lair. Uh this is linked. That means uh, if we continue playing this, we can go directly there. We would not have to go to town or do a road event. We could just immediately start it. Obviously, we would start fresh with full HP and all of that. And we can change our cards if we want, just like regular scenario. It's just that we don't have to deal with a road event if we go directly into that mission. Uh, we also open number 67, which is at uh, J2 uh, over here. which is the Arcane Library. So we have that open for us if we ever want to uh, do that. If we fail going there, does it just stay there? Yeah, it just stays there. It's just like a regular scenario. It's basically a side mission. It wouldn't progress the campaign, but we could but we could do it to get loot or XP. Is there, is there any indication of how hard it would be? It's number 67. We can go take a look at it. Uh, requirements, links none. I mean, there are a lot of enemies here. And quite a lot of traps. Eh, not that many traps. A few traps. Doesn't look like there's any any real um, thing about it. The uh, Apparently, the goal is to kill a particular enemy instead of all enemies. <laughs> Is this information we should really know? Yes, we can know the goal. We can know uh, the requirements, which are which there are none. We can read the introduction if we really want. Uh, generally, I wouldn't want to look at the map, even though I just did. But I mean, it's it's there's like a lot of there's a lot of enemies listed just on on the on the enemy list. So, um, <laughs> so I mean that's an option. Uh, but of course, if we did that, uh, we would have to do a road event between here and there. Um, so next session, we should probably just do Barrow 2 
Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, are we going to play this next week? Are we going to do the next mission next week? I'd say yeah. All right. Real uh, says yes. Lost joke. He said sure. Okay. He said sure. Uh, then my and next question. Wanted, yeah. If we ever want to do Arcane Library, we can just go there and get our ass kicked and get some free experience. Yeah, we can. It's not a big deal. Um. The next question is, are we going to go directly there uh, or are we going to go back to the city? If we go back to the city, we can, you know, purchase stuff uh, uh, but we and do an event, but we would also have to do a road event before coming back. Well, I guess that's up to you guys because I actually don't really have much money to even buy anything. I have barely enough to buy something now, but I don't really care about going into the I city. I have so. a slot for Real... uh, another cheap item, so I don't need to buy anything. Yeah, actually, I don't think I can buy oh. anything either. Um, Rill can't level up until she goes to the city, but I mean, well, maybe it's up we to you. Go there then so she can level up. It's up to you, Rill. What do you want to do? Do you want to wait, or do you want to level All right, up now? Let's go level my ass up. Alright, we'll go to the city. We're going to have to do a city event and a road event. We'll do that uh, next time. So how do these checks work? We can put them anywhere? No, you put them uh, under where it says notes. Yeah. Um, and then when you have three of those, then that that you can buy a perk. Okay. And if your card had two checks, you'd do two yes. checks at the notes. Yes. Some cards do have two checks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me put these away. Although I think <coughs> what I'm probably going to end up doing is um, copy all of our stuff to a new um, version of this because the scripting is, is messed up on this one. But I will do that uh, later this week. Um, everybody, take your take your guy back to your because I want to clean this up. Here, I lost Joe. He's your guy. Oh, and also take your uh, your summon back because if I like delete this, then like it deletes everything. Delete map. Uh, yes. Uh, delete monsters. Yes. And we're we're done. We are uh, done for the day. We're a little bit early, but I feel like this is a pretty good stopping point. Unless you guys want to do city uh, event immediately, we just have to remember that we have to do it next week. But <coughs> we'll do it next week. It's better if we do it next week, because uh, we'll, we'll forget and end up doing another one, maybe. Yeah, I don't want to do that, because I think we actually managed to mostly follow all the rules this time. We might have made like a couple of small mistakes, but I, I, I think that we're, we're pretty good uh, uh, today. And guess what? We, we won. Um, so, uh, yeah. We'll play this again next week with a fresh, um, the fresh table with working scripts. Thanks everybody for Why watching. Why do you not have this game set up to play Final Fantasy Victory music when we win? Because I didn't put anything in here. I don't know. I can try to find one, but I can't guarantee that I can. It's hard putting sounds into this game. You can put music into the game pretty easily. It's like victory music would kind of be a sound more than a more than music. Make it a track. Make your face a track. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.